This video will show you how to measure optic brighteners in ambient water samples using a fluorometer. Some necessary equipment to measure optic brighteners include sample bottles, foil, disposable polymeth acrylate cuvettes, fluorometer such as the aquafluor, UV lamp, UV proof safety glasses, stopwatch, calculator, and your calibration standard solution equipment such as the optic brightener agent, tied 2x original scent is suggested, piston type pipette, the pipette tips, DI water, and a 100 milliliter amber bottle. The first step of measuring optic brighteners is to calibrate the fluorometer by preparing a 50 parts per million calibration solution that is achieved by creating a two-step serial dilution process. We must first prepare a 1 liter amber bottle with 100 milliliters of DI water. If an amber bottle is not available, you can use an Erlenmeyer flask covered with aluminum foil to make it light proof. With the optic brightener agent, we can prepare the stock solution. Using a piston style pipette, draw 0.5 milliliters of the optic brightener agent and then wipe off any excess agent that may have coated the pipette tip. Dispense the agent into the amber bottle, and then cap to prevent from any excess light exposure, because optic brighteners photo decay. Mix thoroughly and allow the foam to settle before the next step. This solution is now 500 parts per million and can be reserved as stock for further use. Now we can prepare the calibration solution. Add 45 milliliters of DI water in a foil wrapped sample bottle. We must draw 5 milliliters of the stock solution that we just created. Before drawing 5 milliliters of the stock solution, we must make sure that we change the pipette tips so that we do not alter the concentration in our stock solution. Once you have drawn the 5 milliliter aliquot of stock solution, Dispense it in the foil wrapped sample bottle. Cap it and mix thoroughly. Again, allow the foam to settle before the next step. Press the standard value button to assign a calibration standard value. Using the minus and plus arrows, we can set the standard value. When finished, we can press the enter or escape button to accept the value and return to the home screen. We set our calibration standard value at 100 because our calibration solution is at 50 parts per million in concentration. Before calibrating the fluorometer, you must label the cuvettes. Label B for the blank sample. Then to identify the standard sample, you can put a dot. Using new pipette tips, draw an aliquot of 2 to 3 milliliters of DI water and insert that into the blank cuvette. Again, change the pipette tips and do the same for the calibration standard. Draw 2-3 to three milliliters of the calibration standard and deposit the aliquot in the standard cuvette. Now you have created your blank sample and your standard sample for calibration. Press the cal button to calibrate the fluorometer and press enter. Insert the blank sample and press enter. The aquafluor will average the reading for 10 seconds and set the blanking zero point. Then insert the standard sample and press enter. The reading is averaged for 10 seconds and the standard calibration value is set. Press enter when the calibration is complete to accept the calibration. Now that we have calibrated the fluorometer, label three disposable polymethacrylate cuvettes. We analyze the triplicates for each sample. Now we will load 3 milliliters of the sample into each cuvette.
Again, make sure that we use new pipette tips when dispensing the sample into the cuvettes for analyzing for optic brighteners. If 3 milliliters of the sample is not available, be sure that at least 2 milliliters of the sample is used or make sure that half of the cuvette is full so we can properly analyze for optic brighteners. Protect the sample from light as much as possible during loading and this can be achieved by putting the samples under a foil tent. When analyzing the sample, insert the cuvette into the fluorometer. Close the cap and press the read button. The reading result will appear on the top line of the home screen and once the word weight disappears from the home screen, another reading can be made. Now we can repeat these steps and analyze the fluorescence of the other cuvettes. If the initial fluorescence of the sample measures less than 5 parts per million, or 10 relative fluorescent units, then the sample is negative for optic brighteners. However, if the sample measures higher than 5 parts per million, we will move on to the next step. This step involves exposing the sample to UV light for 5 minutes and then measuring the fluorescence again. Make sure you have UV safety goggles when handling UV light. Take the sample out of the fluorometer and expose the sample to UV light for 5 minutes. Measure the fluorescence again and see if there is any change in fluorescence after 5 minutes of exposure to UV light. Calculate the percentage of reduction in fluorescence after 5 minutes of UV light exposure. This can be done by taking the initial fluorescence value, subtracted by the fluorescence value after 5 minutes of UV light exposure, and dividing that by the initial fluorescence value. Multiply by 100 and you have the percent reduction. If the percent reduction is less than 8%, conclude that the sample is negative for optic brighteners. If it is greater than 30%, conclude that the sample is positive. If the percent reduction is less than 30% and greater than 8%, we will continue to the next step. This step involves exposing the sample under UV light for another 5 minutes. So now you have accumulatively exposed the sample to 10 minutes of UV light exposure. Calculate the ratio of reduction in fluorescence by dividing by the fluorescence value after 10 minutes of UV light exposure by the fluorescence value after 5 minutes of UV light exposure. If the ratio is less than 1.5, conclude that the sample is negative for optic brighteners. If the ratio is greater than 1.5, conclude that the sample is positive for optic brighteners. Out of the three replicates, if all three are positive, conclude that the sample is positive for optic brighteners. If two out of the three are positive, conclude that the presence of optic brighteners within the sample is undetermined.